For High Plus News, I'm John Oliver. Deion Sanders and his Colorado football team continued their unfortunate losing streak after Washington State University would hand them an upset of 56 points to Colorado's 14. Sanders, who would electrify college football at the start of the season in September, has definitely drew in many critics now that his team's original hype has disappeared. It brings tears of joy watching Dion and his family get steamrolled week in and week out when they talk all that shit. Bro really thought his luggage was Louis V. Like bro, they were all at HBCU for a reason. You effing blow. For Dion, who is known for his confidence and charisma, would display a different set of emotions on the sidelines, which users online would begin to notice during Friday night's game. Some online users would even point out that Sanders appeared to look as though he wanted to cry as he watched his team struggle on the field. A photo of Dion would even surface which looks to appear with him with tearful eyes. Dion looked like he was about to cry, down 7-42 to 42 at halftime. Dion about to cry on the sideline. Dion looks like he's about to cry, no cap. One user would even admit that the usually upbeat Dion appeared to look defeated during the game. Dion on the sideline just looks so tired and defeated. Now after the game, Dion will hold a press conference to give reporters insight on why he may not appear in his usual self. He would go on to reveal that he's been under the weather, battling a bug. I'm under the weather, so this is going to be a little foggy for me. <coughs> that's the tough thing. That's the thing that's that's tremendously tough to digest uh, week in and week out. He would also share his honest thoughts about losing the game. Begin the season when you guys were winning uh, to kind of now, what do you think the difference in like, the team attitude. mindset? Attitude. Attitude and desire. Just attitude and desire. Moments like these can make many of us reflect on the lessons that can be learned, like understanding how life at times teaches us humility as a way to maintain balance. So when Colorado took their early confidence and used it as a way to stun on others, the universe quietly took a note. A Colorado fan would chime in with a lesson of humility they appear to have also learned. I'm a Dion and Colorado fan 100%. I believe Dion is one of the most impactful hires in the history of college football and will turn Colorado into a contender. He fills seats, generates enormous revenue, and can recruit nationally. But this needs to be said. Colorado's journey this year is a perfect example of the value of humility. They started good, were braggadocious, wanted every bit of attention they could get, and Shador gave other teams enough bullets and board material to fill hundreds of boards. Now they're getting their noses rubbed in it, and teams are mocking the buffs in Shador. Lesson to be learned is, say very little when you get beat, and even less when you win. With this last loss, Colorado is no longer eligible for a postseason bowl game, and have also lost much of its original support from celebs and influencers compared to the start of the season. The buffs have just one more game to close out the year on November 25th when they play the 2022 Pac-12 champions, Utah. The current record is 4-7, which is still better than last year's 1-8 season. And as we said before, if you are supportive of Dion, this is the time. And you can continue to encourage Sanders with your own Keep Going Dion shirt now at thehypemarket.com. Let's talk about it more in the comments below. What have you learned from Dion coaching at Colorado this year? For more news in comedy, culture, and music, be sure to subscribe here to our YouTube channel and follow Hype Plus across all social media. For Hype Plus News, I'm John Oliver.